Hey welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can create three really cool text effects for your thumbnails inside Affinity Photo. For the first text effect you want to make sure that you have two different text layers. I'm going to select the layer which is at the top and I'm going to change its color make it white and then I'm going to slightly drag the slider to the left make it sort of a off white color and then on the second text layer you can change it to any color that you want so maybe let's make it kind of orange on the first text layer we're going to select that and then we're going to click on the layer effects which you can find the icon right over here the effects icon click on that from here we are going to make sure that the inner shadow is checked and we're going to change the blend mode i'm going to set this to normal and we are also going to make sure that the opacity is set to 100 percent and we're going to change the offset and we're going to make it around 10 and intensity is fine at zero just change the angle and make it 270 so that it is from top to bottom and not in any other direction for the color we're going to make it pure white and uh, this is the reason why we chose an off-white color for our main text so that we can see this inner shadow and it kind of gives it a really cool depth or 3d effect to our text then we're going to apply an outer shadow to it click on that to apply it and again with the same settings we're going to set the blend mode to normal opacity to 100 and offset to 10 and then we can change the direction and for the color we can click the color and change it to darker gray okay so once you are done with this then we can select our second text click on the inner shadow to select it and we are going to repeat the process set the blend mode to normal opacity to 100 and change the offset and we're going to make it 10 and for the color it's going to be white and we're going to apply the outer shadow now click on it to enable it and change it to normal 100 percent offset to 10 and direction or the angle to 270 for the color i'll just select the color over here and i can use the color picker over here click and hold and i can just select the orange color from my text click on the circle icon again to apply our color and then i can just reduce the lightness and make it a darker shade of that orange color so once you are done with that then you can just exit out of this and you can leave it as it is if that's how you like it i'm going to select these two layers the text layers and hit command g to group them or control g if you are on pc then again we are going to apply layer effects to it click on it and we are going to apply an outline so click on outline and uh, just increase the radius amount 33 looks fine and yeah there you have your first text effect all right so for the second text effect we're going to use some drop shadows and some gradients so let's select our text which is at the top i'm going to move the layer to the top as well and we're going to select our gradient tool so it's this icon right over here gradient tool click on that and then we're going to go somewhere in the middle of the text and just drag from top to bottom so we have our gradient over here so after that we are going to go to the top and you can see the tools over here i'm going to click on the color and the first color i'm going to set that to white and i'm going to click on the second stop over here and change the color and make it a gray color so move the slider in the middle i'm using the hsl sliders again so i'm going to move the lightness slider in the middle we are going to follow the same thing for our second text make sure you click on that to select it and move to the top of the text and just click and drag down to create a gradient now again go to the color select the first stop and make sure the color is in the center the lightness is set to somewhere in the center and we are going to select the second stop and make sure the that the color is set to white so we have this nice gradient and then we can select the text which is at the top go to layer effects which is this icon over here click on that and here we are going to select the outer shadow and uh, make sure the angle is set to 270 and we can just increase the opacity and also the radius so you can notice the radius over here and we are just going to change the offset also and maybe i'll just reduce the opacity i think that's a bit too much um yeah i think that looks fine but you can like obviously play with some settings like the radius and the offset 
so if we have a look so this looks really good uh, you can even rotate this a little so yeah that is our second text effect now let's take a look at the final text effect all right so for the final text effect it is pretty similar to the first text effect the only thing that we are going to do is apply one more outline effect to our text so right now if we go to the layer effects we can see our outline is already applied to this group but what we can do is we can select our group and again group it so again i'm going to press command g on the keyboard to group it one more time and now you can go to the layer effects again and you will see that you have the option to add an outline effect so i'm going to click on that and i'm just going to increase the radius and just change the color to any color that i want all right so there you have your text uh, one more thing that i would suggest you to do is if you notice down here our x it's kind of kind of have this empty area so i'm going to use the pen tool which is this icon over here i'm going to click on that to select it and i can just draw a shape around this area and just close the shape and then i'm going to go to fill and just pick the same color and uh, click on the circle again to apply it and uh, we're going to make sure that this layer is within this group over here so i'm going to just move it down the text layer and i'm going to do the same thing from the other side you can right click on it uh, on the layer itself and click on duplicate and i'm just going to move it on the other side like so i'm just going to right click on it and click on transform flip horizontal and just zoom in and place it properly all right so that is looking good so you can also use the node tool and just play with the positioning of your points and should look perfect so that is pretty much it for this video uh, thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful if it was then make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one